you're watching this video, you're probably new to my channel. My name is Molly. I am a Penn Foster Vet Tech Program student, and I did a video a little while back kind of reviewing Penn Foster. Um, I've always wanted to do one when I was finished with the first semester, so I have completed the first semester, so here is my first semester review. Um, so I want to get the, the big questions out of the way first. Um, one of the big questions is, is Penn Foster legitimate? Um, honestly, to me, it seemed too good to be true. So I was kind of like, there's no way that this is true. Um, but it is. It is everything that they say it is. It is a VMA accredited, which means that you will be able to get a national certification by um, working with them. So you will be a registered vet tech as long as you take the registered vet tech test at the end of your schooling. Um, so Penn Foster qualifies for that. Um, they are everything they say they are. They are self-paced. You're limited to a year at maximum. It's, it's a year per semester, but there are six month extensions if you need them. I think they offer two six months, six month extensions over the whole course of your program. My dog is being very strange. <laughs> um, if you hear her in the background, that's what that is. So they are legitimate. Um, they are definitely self-paced. There are no deadlines for anything. Um, they, let's see, what is one of the other big questions? Hmm. Um, as far as I'm aware, as far as I know of several vets, um, my vets don't mind that I'm a Penn Foster student. Um, they were totally fine with that. It wasn't like they heard, oh, you're going to Penn Foster, we don't want to work with you. Um, so I've never gotten that kind of reaction. Um, so I think those are the big questions. Um, as far as testing goes with Penn Foster, they do, so most of your tests are kind of, they're called lesson exams, and they're 20 questions, there's no time limit, and they are open book. Um, so those are all super easy. My advice to you if you end up choosing Penn Foster is definitely to take your time, get really good scores on those. Um, you are allowed to take them twice, so if you take them once, don't get such a great score, definitely take it, take it again. There's no reason not to. Um, the reason that I say that is because those scores will help you out a lot in the event that you don't do well on your final. So your vinyl is worth 33% of your grade. It's called a proctor exam. So your video, either you're videotaped through your computer or you are in person with a proctor and the proctor just makes sure that you're not cheating. So they make sure you're not looking at your book because it is closed book. Um, they make sure that you're not calling up friends <laughs> and asking them, hey, do you know what the answer to this question is? And they're making sure that you're not Googling answers. Um, so it is 100% controlled closed book. Um, I don't ever recommend cheating because they probably will catch you. Um, so those are worth 33% of your grade. So it's really important that you do really well on your lesson exams to make sure that you can make up just in case you don't do so well on the proctor exams. Um, my only real complaint about Penn Foster is their proctor exam setup. Um, for biology, it was fine. Biology was open book. I didn't have any problems with biology. AMP1, I just barely skimmed by and got an A. Barely. I mean, barely got an A. Um, AMP2, I did get a B. And um, part of that is because the way that their proctor exams are set up is that it's closed book, they're not multiple choice, they're short essay answers, so they're between one to minimally five um, sentences, and there's 13 to 16, and you have an hour to answer them. Again, those are closed book. Um, the problem with that is that they tell you, well, study the lesson objectives. Well, the lesson objectives, when you break them down, there's about 250 of them per class. That's a lot of things to study and have completely memorized, especially if you're not somebody that has experience in a medical field or, um, you know, has any, if you've never taken biology or anything, it's going to be kind of weird. Like I said, for biology, I was okay. With AMP 1 and 2, it was a little iffy. Um, I hope that in the future they change that. I hope that they give a better study guide that says, hey, this is your pool of questions, maybe 40 to 50 questions. These are the questions you could be asked, but they just kind of say, oh, study the lesson objectives as if that's enough. That basically means study the whole book. That's where any of the questions could come from and they'll get really specific. So that's my only complaint about Penn Foster. I'm really not a fan of that proctor exam setup. Um, I do feel like it's even more difficult because you don't have an in-person teacher to kind of be like, hey, you know, check this out and, you know, that might be on the test. You probably should read that. Um, so that I think makes that setup a little bit more difficult. Um, aside from that, I did pass all my classes. I got A's in all of my classes except for that 1B and AMP2, which will forever haunt me. Um, 
You do have the option to watch webinars. Some of the webinars are really awesome, and then some of the webinars I thought were kind of not so awesome. Um, but they're there, they're a great resource. Um, there's, there's a lot of good things about Penn Foster. I really do like it. In general, I would recommend it. Um, it has a couple downfalls. One of the other downfalls is that it's hard to really get a good study group together. If you're a person that likes to study in study groups, it's really difficult with Penn Foster because they don't, um, you don't meet in person ever and nobody's on the same schedule. Literally everybody's on a different schedule because it is self-paced, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, another downfall is that you never really see your teacher, but you can contact them, which is good. Um, and then the other downfall that I would say Penn Foster has is because it is self-paced, it's super easy to put things off. Some people really need like a solid, hey, you have to get this done by this date. Penn Foster won't do that. They're just like, you have a year to take all of these classes, you do them the way that you think you need to do them to get them done in the year, and we'll see you when you're done with them. Um, so a lot of people can kind of procrastinate. If you're a procrastinator, Penn Foster is probably not for you. Um, I do have other videos on how to get through some of the classes. I have some studying videos. I have some videos that kind of break down some of the classes and how I got good grades in them. So check those out. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. I love all of my subscribers. Um, and I hope to see you soon. I hope that this helped you make a decision. And good luck.